You might wonder if Federal Reserve in the US is increasing or decreasing rates, how does it affect me? Well, my friend, if you are a part of the global economy anywhere in the world, this subject is of concern to you. And so is this subject on the Wall Street, where this week market participants across the world, and not only investors, but also workforce, the focus will be on Federal Reserve's two-day policy meeting starting September 17th. Hello, my name is Abhinav Trivedi and you watching Mint Explains. The US Central Bank is widely expected to slash interest rates for the first time since 2020. The Fed has kept its main interest rate at a two-decade high in hopes of slowing the economy enough to rein in high inflation. Now, this week, the Wall Street will also see updates on some crucial economic data like US retail sales, home sales and industrial production. Now, if you are unaware of the global catastrophe that happened a couple of years ago and why we are standing where we are standing, let us do a small recap for you. COVID-19 started in 2020. Economic activity slowed down because of the lockdowns across the world. And therefore, the Federal Reserve slashed the interest rates to almost zero to keep the economic engine running. Now, low interest rates found their way to the world's equity, debt and crypto markets in 2021 and early 2022. How? The bankers took this money, which was cheap, and invested on various bets. Now, this sudden flow of money resulted in high inflation. Of course, the money went on to the streets, which Federal Reserve initially discarded as transitory inflation. Well, they had to eat their words later. Due to cheap availability of capital, banks like Silicon Valley in the US and many more across the world took long-term bets on various positions. Starting in mid-2022, the Federal Reserve now started increasing the rate of interest from near zero to 5.5% as of now, which is the highest in 22 years. Now, this sudden increase in interest rates rattled the global markets. They were not prepared for it. And many big financial institutions across the world defaulted on their obligations. What added to the woes was geopolitical tensions between the East and the West, Russia-Ukraine war, we now see Gaza. All of this caused global supply chain problems. As of now, the global economy is going through a slowdown and is emerging from a recession. Now, millions of people across the world have lost their jobs. Companies have shut down primarily in the tech, gaming and startup ecosystem. Not only in the world, here in India, millions of people have lost their jobs in the last three years. Funding winter has dried up as funds for thousands of startups have been withheld. It's highly expected now that for the first time since 2020, the US Fed will slash interest rates as they believe that the inflation is now under control. Now, this would bring fresh capital in the markets and this is extremely crucial, ladies and gentlemen. You see, 97% of the global money is debt. The world economy depends on availability of cheap capital, which eventually depends on interest rates. As Fed cuts interest rates, the value of the dollar will go down. Cost of raising capital will also go down. Now, a lot depends on US Fed rates because dollar is the international currency. If you are part of any of these ecosystems or working in any of these ecosystems, the cut in the interest rates directly affects you. Let's take corporates and banks first. Now, companies will be able to take on more debt if the Fed cuts interest rates. They'll be able to invest in expansion, hire more people. Banks, on the other hand, will be able to give out more loans. So, if you are an employee working in the corporate or the banking sector, there could be some movement as far as money is concerned because the interest rates might be cut. Let's move on to startups. Now, VC funds, venture capitalists, which primarily depend on debt money, will be able to invest in new startups and ideas, the AIs and the cryptos and all the hush words. Last but not the least, consumer spending. You see, since the cost of raising capital comes down, in case the Fed cuts interest rates, there will be more demand for new kinds of home, auto and personal loans, which drives retail spending on the streets. Financial markets. You see, when US Fed cuts interest rates, the bond yields of the US fall down. And that causes a lot of commotion in the markets. Foreign institutional investors run to the markets 
where yields are better. So that might be a cue for you where to invest your money. So you see, the Federal Reserve is an important element, not only the global economy, but also in our lives. So stay tuned over the next 36 hours as big announcements shall be made and we at Mint shall keep you posted on the activities of Federal Reserve. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.